All right, good morning, um, boys and girls here in school and friends at home. We're going to start another day of a fraction lesson. So we're still working on fractions, which I don't know about you, but I hope you're thinking are kind of fun and kind of easy for us. So we're going to start out with a little bit of fluency. So I'm asking my students in class to make sure their pencils are in their parking lot. I'm going to be drawing some number lines, of lines and we're just going to count. You know, a lot of times with fluency, we're skip counting. Well, now we're going to count on a number line. So you guys are going to watch me so you know what unit we're using. Okay, there's my number line. All right, so this might be tricky. Our endpoints are zero and two. There's a one in the middle. There's a one in the middle. But if we look at one whole, how many equal parts are in one whole? Two. two. So what is my unit we're going to count by? Half. Halves. We're counting by halves. Eyes and ears up here, please. So we're going to start, boys and girls. You count, and I will complete these. Zero halves. One half. Three halves. Four halves. Very good. And these are our whole number fractions because we can divide and get those numbers. Okay? So there's just a little skip counting. Five halves. Let's go backwards. Okay, let's start with four halves, three halves, two halves, one half, zero halves. Very good. All right, notice we went above one whole. We wrote fractions greater than one whole. Let's try another one. Um, uh, how about this? Again, we're going to start with zero. One, we're going to go all the way up to two holes. At this point, you should know what unit we're going to use. Okay, Cam, thank you. How did you get thirds, honey? I got Very good. So let's just look at one whole, boys and girls. How many parts are there? Three. One, two, three. So that means my unit is thirds. Everybody, let's count. Here we go. Zero, Zero thirds. One third. Two thirds. Three thirds. Four thirds. Five thirds. Six thirds. Okay, we'll stop right there. I'm going to box my whole number fractions. So what fraction on this number line represents zero, zero thirds? What fraction represents one whole? Three thirds. What fraction represents two holes? Six thirds. And remember, I can write for this fraction three divided by three equals one. For this, I can say six divided by three equals two. two. And that's how we get our numbers on our number line. Okay? We'll do one more. So again, now that you know how to find the unit, Caden, put your pencil in your parking lot, please. Now that you know how to find the unit, see if you can find the unit before your neighbor does here. You don't know it yet because so far they're not proficient, right? I know. Okay, what is my unit? Leah. Force. How did you know it was force? You are right. Okay. Very good. So she said you could count the lines. I prefer to count the number of equal parts. So there are four equal parts. One, two, three, four. So our unit is four. So let's count class. We're going to start with zero, zero fours. One, one, four, two, four, three, fours, four, fours, five, fours, six, fours, seven, fours, eight, fours. Very good. I'm going to box my whole number fractions. So the fraction that represents zero is zero fourths. The fraction that represents one is four fourths. The fraction that represents the number two is eight fourths. I can divide zero divided by four equals zero. Four divided by four equals one. Eight divided by four equals two. Val, hands at the desk, please. Okay, now I'm going to ask you, let's count backwards, okay? So we'll start with eight fourths and go ahead and count plus. Eight fourths. Okay, here's a question for you. Reviewing fractions greater than one whole. Look at my number line and tell me a fraction on it that is greater than one whole. 
tell me a fraction greater than one whole, Raga. Seven fourths. Okay, he is right. Here's one whole, and seven fourths is absolutely greater than one whole. So that's a fraction greater than one whole. So we're right, seven fourths is greater than one whole. What's another fraction greater than one whole on my number line? Hayden, go ahead. Eight fourths. Eight fourths. He is right. Eight fourths is also greater than one whole because eight fourths is right here. One whole is right here. We have a couple more. Ori, what else? One, one eight, five. Five fourths is also greater than one whole. And there is one more. Cordial, what's the last one? See, last one that is greater than one whole. Six fourths is also greater than one whole. Okay. Here's a tricky question. What fraction is equal to one whole? What fraction is equal to one whole? You can do so much with fractions on your number line. Fred. One fourth is equal to one whole. Oh, I don't think so. What fraction is equal to one whole? Try again, honey. Yes, very good. I love the way you didn't give up. So here's one whole, and what fraction is equal to one whole? Four fourths. Fractions are fun. Lucas, you may go. All right, now, boys and girls, we're going to read our learning target. We're going to start our lesson for today. So that was just a little review. Placing numbers on the number line, okay? Go with this gets back. So let's read our learning target in the count of one class. Three, two, one. We can place, whoops, got two places in there. We can place whole number fractions and unit fractions between whole numbers on the number line, which is kind of what we just did. But we're going to do this together and label our fractions. Yes, Ray. I remember this question. When I looked at one-fourth, I had seven-fourths. Okay, I'm glad that you recognized your misunderstanding. So here's our first sheet, boys and girls. So we're going to look at our number line. And we're going to start with some simple questions so we understand our number line. What are the endpoints of our number line? What are the end points of our number line? I would like everybody to put their hands on their desk so I can see them. Thank you so much. Okay, what are my end points? What are my end points on my number line? Clear. One and two holes, very good. Well, where the heck did my zero go? Where is it? I see Val pointing. Val, where'd zero go? He's not in the view of that part of the number line. Very good. I love the way she said he's not in the view of that number line. This is just a chunk of a number line. Remember, numbers go on in each direction forever and ever and ever. So we can't draw a complete number line. So we just draw parts or sections of a number line. This particular section starts at one and it goes to two. Zero, if we wanted to add it, we would have to extend our number line and put zero over here somewhere. If we wanted to put three on our number line, we would have to extend it here and put three out here somewhere. So we're just drawing a section. So you guys have the same number line. I want you to partition, to divide that whole into four equal parts. So go ahead and partition it, to divide it into four equal parts. If you remember how to make fours, split it down the middle. And then four parts. Let's see. Four, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, eight, 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 four, five, six, when we are at one whole. Can't be zero force. How many force have we counted when we're at one whole? Rocco. Four force. Thank you. He said four force. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, think about one whole. If I draw a fraction strip and it's one whole and I've got force. In that one whole, how many force are there? There are four. Fours. Very good. So we're going to label that four fourths at the number one and box it. Why? Because it's a whole number fraction. So go ahead. Label that four fourths. Thank you, Rocco. Very nice.
Okay, so now we're going to do what our learning target says. We are going to place the fractions in between the whole numbers 1 and 2. So, everybody, what comes after 4 fourths? 5 fourths. Go ahead and label. I like to put my whole number fractions above the number line and my other fractions below just so I show a difference. So go ahead and click. You know. Okay, keep going. Go ahead and label them all the way to two holes. You understand These are four. All right, help me label these class. We have four fours, next comes five fours, then there's six, six fours, then there's seven, seven fours, and then and last there's eight, eight fours. And, and again, we'll just box that because it is another whole number fraction. So there's another pattern that I want you to see on here, okay? So at one, we have four fours. At two, we have eight fours. There's a skip counting pattern there. What are we skip counting by when we look at our numerator? What are we skip counting by? What are we skip counting by? We have zero fours over here, then four fours, then eight fours. What is that skip counting pattern, Ori? We're skip counting by fours. Now think about it. Why are we skip counting by fours? Because every section, whole in between our whole numbers has one. four parts to it. So here's one, two, three, four. If I added more to this number line and went out to three, guess what fraction would be at the whole number three? Zero, four, eight, twelve. Twelve fours. Very good. I would have twelve fours here. Why? Because each one of these holes has four in between them. So you can skip count using multiplication on your number line as well. All right? So that's just an aside. I was just kind of excited to share that with you because I get excited about fractions. Yes, Kim? So if you notice know, four, if you know there's two um, or three holes, then if the denominator is four, then you'll skip count by four because there's four equal parts. Or multiple. Excellent. Very good. And if you're using thirds, guess what you would skip count by? For the numerator, you would skip count by threes because there's three equal parts in every hole. You got it. You nailed it, bud. Nice job. All right, so now let's come back here. Remember, four fourths equals what whole number? Look at your number line. Four fourths equals what, everybody? One. one. It equals one. Why? Because remember, a fraction is just a division sentence. Four divided by four equals one. Okay, what about eight fourths? Go to your number line. Eight fourths equals what whole number? Oh, wait. What's the whole number? Look at your number line. You're right. Eight fourths equals what whole number? Look at back here. Four fourths equals one. So eight fourths equals two. two. Eight fourths equals the whole number two. Here it is. Eight fourths is on the same point as the number two. And we can say that because... 8 divided by 4 is 2. Remember, we can read this fraction as 8 divided by 4. Those are fractions in between whole numbers on the number line. Let's try it again. And let's go to the back of your page. And oh my goodness, our endpoints have changed again. So go ahead and look at your endpoints and see what is different about this number line. On the back, you'll have another page. Aha. What do you notice about this? Important thing to always do is start with your endpoints. What are my endpoints on this number line, Aubrey? Very good. Well, what number am I missing in between two and four? 
I'm missing something. That's not the way you count. What number am I missing between two and four? Aubrey. I'm missing three. Yeah, we're missing three, so let's go ahead and put that. Just wanted to give you a little thinking. Okay, we're missing three, so go ahead. All right, now, I gave you a big old hint here. What fraction are we going to be using on this number line? What unit are we going to be using? Corbin. The, the, the fraction that we will be using is, is third. The fraction we're going to be using is thirds. He's a smart kid, and he looked at the fractions I've written already. So the unit we'll be using is thirds. So think about how we will partition this. We need to put three equal parts in a whole. Put your finger at the beginning of two. That's in at three. That is one whole, isn't it? From two to three is one whole number, right? So how many equal parts do we need in there? We need three to make third. How many long lines will we draw to make three equal parts? Two. Go ahead and do that. Now all of a sudden I split that hole between two and three into three equal parts. My unit is thirds. Okay, let's come over here. This is one hole between three and four. How many equal parts do I need? Six. Three. I need three. Don't get the number of lines mixed up with the number of equal parts. If I have thirds, I need three equal parts. How many lines will I draw, Ori, to get three equal parts? Two. Very good. So let's look at this. Between three and four, how many equal parts do I have? I have one, two, three. So I need three. All right, now. We can't start with zero thirds because we're not at the whole number zero. We can't even start with three thirds because we're not at the whole number one. We're at the whole number two. So how many thirds will we have counted when we're at the whole number two? When we're at zero, we've counted zero thirds. Remember when we were at the whole number one, we were counting three-thirds. Now we're at the whole number two. So how many thirds have we counted if we're at the whole number two? Lucas. Six thirds. Very good. We have counted six-thirds. I'm going to put that fraction above here. Because it goes up by three every time. Absolutely. We're going up by three every time. Another way you could look at this, boys and girls, is you could say two holes with three in each hole, two times three is six. Let's come down here. Now, we have three holes. If there's three holes and there's three equal parts in each hole, we have how many thirds? We have three times three is nine, nine thirds. Okay? Now, if you didn't get that, what you can do is you can just count on. We can go six thirds. What comes after six thirds, boys and girls? Seven, seven thirds. What comes after seven thirds? thirds? Eight thirds. Then you've got your nine thirds. We're going to box it because it's a special whole number fraction. What comes after nine thirds? Ten thirds. What comes after ten thirds? Eleven thirds. What comes after eleven thirds? Twelve thirds. We box it. Twelve divided by three gives us the whole number four. Make sense? Okay. So, just like we said before, but we cannot. Um, we cannot review this enough. When you have a unit and you're in a whole number, those whole numbers are going to skip count by your unit. So we have threes, we're going to skip count six thirds, nine thirds, twelve thirds. What fraction will be at the whole number five? I've got to erase this for a minute. Sorry, Mrs. Babs. I feel like I'm going to put an on here. Two things. What if I go out to five here? Without counting on, what fraction will be at the whole number five? I had six thirds, nine thirds, twelve thirds. What's going to come here? Perfect. Would you say this? Fifteen thirds? Yes! <laughs> Fifteen thirds. Not thirteen thirds. Good job, bud. It's Fifteen thirds because we are skip counting by threes. Does everybody see that we're still counting by three? Three times five equals fifteen. You have at this point you have five holes. How many holes do you have, boys and girls? Five. How many equal parts are in each hole? Two times three. 
three equal parts because we're doing thirds. So five times three equals 15 is your total number of holes. Go ahead. Box it. So yeah, yeah, thank you, I'll box it. Let's look at our division sentences where we find our whole numbers. Six thirds, look at it boys and girls. Point to six thirds on your number line. Six thirds equals what whole number, everybody? Two. Two. And we can say we know that because six divided by groups of three will give us two. Let's go to nine thirds. Point to nine thirds on your number line. What whole number is that, Kaden? Three. Nine thirds equals three. We know that because nine divided by three equals three. Okay, last one. Twelve thirds. Find twelve thirds on your number line, Jackson. What whole number is there? Four. And we know that because, read me the division sentence, bud. Twelve divided by three equals four. That really is our lesson in a nutshell. We have a couple minutes, so I want you to get out your personal whiteboards. And friends at home, this template is out there on Seesaw for you to see. I recommend you watch the end of the video. You don't have to upload anything for this segment, but I do want you to see the fluency we're going to do next. So just so you know, boys and girls, I'm going to give you a fraction greater than one whole. You are going to write a division sentence that goes with it. Ready? So write it on your personal whiteboard. All right, here's your first fraction. Your first fraction is four halves. Go ahead and write a division sentence to figure out what that fraction equals. Go ahead and find your answer. Very good. What division sentence did you write, Rado? Can we give ourselves stars? Yes. Four halves is the fraction. So I want a division sentence. What division sentence will we write? You got the wrong answer. One more time, remind us. Oh, and what is it? Four divided by two equals two. Another way to say this is four halves. You can also say four divided by two equals two. So four halves will be at the whole number two. Okay? Let's try this one. How about, um, there's one. Twelve. Six. What division sentence would you write for 12 six? So in other words, all of these are whole number fractions. We're finding the whole number where we would find them on the number line. Okay. Very good. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So if you wanted to know where you're going to find 12 six at the number line, guess what? You're going to find it at the whole number 2. Let's do another one. Um, Fifteen fifths. Write the division sentence for that. No, right. Okay, what division sentence will you write, Kalia? Very good. Fifteen divided by five. Another way to say this is fifteen divided by five, and that equals three. So where will we find 15 fifths on the number line? We will find it at the whole number three. Um, Eli, you should have your official way to out. Okay. Now we just have a couple minutes, and so I do want you to practice just a little more. We're going to draw a number line. You guys need to practice drawing a number line. Make sure your board is horizontal. And you can bet I'm probably not going to start the number line with the whole number zero. I'm going to start it with the whole number one. And then I'm going to put a two. And I'm going to put a three. What are my endpoints on this number line? My endpoints are one and three. One and three are my endpoints. Now, the next thing you need to know in order to do fractions is what is my unit, right? What is my unit? Okay, here's my unit. That's one whole. What is my unit? Raga. It's fifths because I have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. 
I drew four lines, so five equal parts, that means my unit is fifth. So now I'm going to go back to one. How many fifths have I counted when I'm at the whole number one? Can't be zero fifths. How many fifths have I counted when I'm at the whole number one? Five fifths. Five fifths is correct. Thank you, Freya. Five fifths. I can a box of why. Think of a fraction strip that is one whole. And this represents one whole, right? How many fifths is that, boys and girls? That is five, five fifths. fifths. In one whole, you have five fifths. How many fifths will you have in two holes? There's another fifth. We got two holes, right? Ten fifths. We will have, very good, we will have ten fifths. Notice the skip counting pattern. How many fifths will we have in three holes? Eli, how many fifths will we have in three holes? Very good, nice job, 15 fifths. And how do we know that? Because what are we skip counting by, boys and girls? We're skip counting by fives because our unit is six. So I don't know about you, but I think whole number fractions are pretty cool. And then we have a couple more minutes. I'm gonna to point to a fraction number line. I don't have them all labeled. What fraction will be right here? What fraction will be right there? If this is five fifths, what will this be, Caden? Very good, six fifths. Nice job. You guys can label those. How about this fraction right here? This is ten fifths. What will this fraction be? Jackson. Nine. Very good, nine fifths. See how that number line works? How about, let's make it tricky. How about this one right here? What will that be? Everybody. Fourteen fifths. Yeah, is that not cool or what? How about this one right here? Eleven fifths. Eleven, eleven fifths. fifths. Ten fifths. One more fifth will be eleven fifths. Okay. Are these whole number fractions in here? No. No, no yeah. they aren't. Because you can't divide and get a whole number. Okay. You get part of a number. Very nice, boys and girls. Put those away. I hope you enjoyed that lesson today. And friends at home, I hope you yeah. watch this part of the video just to get it. There will be no work for you to do that like that on some stuff. Thank you.